Good day everyone. Uh, you found me exploring uh, today. I don't know, I'm, I figured I just might make a video out of out of this because I've been wanting to show you know, the region here a bit of uh, what you can call my ancestral lands where uh, my mother is uh, from, my grandmother. There's actually a lot to see here in the region and a lot of history of, of Portugal, poor proto history. Oh man, I'm going to show you some of that today. First, let's get off this uh, off road track. I don't dare to make uh, too sharp corners too fast because that front tire is like a 1090 and that rear is an 820, which is almost a slick by now. So I've ordered a new tire today. Heidi K60. This is what I mean. <laughs> Which uh, should arrive be arriving next week. <laughs> now you know why. Anyway, I want to show you this region, and it's also nearby the house. It's a special kind of region. Now I say, uh, I know I say that a lot in Portugal. We're just north of Serra de Estrela, in one of the last higher tips, actually. And uh, Serra de Estrela is where the highest mountains of Portugal are. We will go there at some point on a nice day. These mountains here are still uh, kind of high. We're about 700 meters here. Here's the slippery stuff. Now it's been raining for many, many days. It's been a rainy two weeks. There's generally in Portugal, as you can see here too, the wet grass and whatnot. But today has been a remarkable good day. I'll show you some of that while we're on the road. Oh, <laughs> classic. So this here in the northern Portugal, there are these little secret roads like this one. And like there are so many you only get to know if you're a local or you stumble on it by chance when traveling around a place and these tend to be the best roads because what you'll see here is all these nice hill mountain ridges you have the bare rocks lying around uh, eroded ridges i call them because there used to be a lot more trees on them but so many fires burn all of that away you can see here all these big boulders, these big stones lying around, scattered around. Make a very nice view here on the hills. And normally I've mostly seen this in the summer and then all of this is already yellow to grass. So this is the first time I really see it in all its colors, green, yellow, and all its variations. Because of the winter time and water, it's very nice. Why this, this is special is because uh, this region tells a story about Proto-Portugal before it all came to be. But out here in these lands, and I think I've mentioned it before, is where the original Portuguese came from. That is the Lusitani tribe from those people sprung, the Lusitanian people. When Portugal, the Portuguese kingdom was established, it connected itself with that tribal history of the Lusitani, who were here before the Romans came. In this region, in the region of Serra de Estrela, further down, and they became such a famed tribe because of their battles against the Romans, because the Lusitani were a tough nut to crack. And you know, the longer I am in Portugal again, now older, on my own, and always associated them with their maritime exploits that I mentioned before, the glorious, glorious world empire of the seas. But before all of that, I think they were a mountain people. But that, it won't. And so, the later Portuguese people, 
like the bass, came from a stock of people, of uh, valiant warriors. And already before the Romans came, these warriors were mercenaries for the Carthaginians, you know, the ones who used to have their outposts here on the Iberian Peninsula before the Rome went absolutely ham on them and destroyed them. And once they were gone, the tribes remained and they still had to be conquered. We're now gonna take this route from the valley down, up there, to Frag the Pena. And once the Romans came, and having some initial success by bribes and by treason, a man stood up and let the Lusitani people known as Variatus, and this is somewhere around 150 BC, and he led the Lusitani people against the Romans. Now it's been many years since I last been here, so I gotta find it again. Where was it? I also don't have a bash plate on this Alp, on Atlas. Good news everyone. Before we get there, we have been blessed with some more off-road goodness. Woo, woo! Look at this, people. Like, for once in my life, I have some local knowledge of a place to find the right tracks and the right places. That is awesome. The kind of places that you normally have to meet people for. the pinna when we were down there we were looking up at that I shouldn't be going down grass but it's not that wet anymore here we go I don't trust my tire selection that much uh, you may have noticed. Jiha! Frag the pena. A little bit of wild side Portugal. Huh? It was about time. Up here at Frag the pena, you can look all the way down into the valley and I'll show you in a second. And uh, actually what we've been doing half, half the ride up here is what we've been missing. She feels familiar. Just needs a new tire on the back and uh, we're good for some more of that. This place is well known first because of its uh, visual magnificence, let's call it that, because it sits here right at the top. These massive, huge boulders that seem assorted in a way that they, sh that they shouldn't be, almost unnatural. Boulders like that, just waiting to one day crush the unsuspecting tourists. Give it another 200 years and then can I get back to me if my prophecy came through. And one of the reasons, the other reason that it's well known whoa, is that there have uh, over the past 40, 50 years or longer archeo archeological, um, what do you call it? What do you call that? Delegations? I don't know. Missions that prodded around here and dug up all sorts of things. The archaeological artifacts that were found here are dated back to the Bronze Age. So we're talking what? Three, three and a half thousand, four thousand BC to about 1500, a thousand. Uh, pottery. I don't know. Uh, necklaces, spearheads, 
those sort of things. And you know what I see? Ooh, Lore. That is the one we should have come up on, that track. We'll go down, though up is more fun, but we already have our way back down. That is nice. Over there is where we came down into the valley. And around that corner over there, that is where the house is. And it's not hard to imagine that four of these whoa, <laughs> bronze age people, that this was a place where they would gather, maybe look for shelter. <laughs> See, that's why I can never have nice motorcycle boots with heels, remember? Because otherwise, I'll just wreck them my little exploration adventure times on mossy slippery rocks I knew I should have ridden with my trainers here we are easy as piss but you don't want to slip Whoa, like that because everything is still pretty wet. So, uh, you know, kind of uh, the ancestral land. And I just wanted to show you the best view in the house. Which ain't too shabby, right? And you know, the funny thing is, uh, I used to come here as a kid with family. But as a kid, soon enough, you'll just get bored in a place like this. And so I find it interesting. It's one of those typical getting older things, right? And now I come here and I understand better the beauty and I can see it. And I think that I have a nice reference library because I've been to a lot of beautiful places. I have something to compare it to. So when I'm back here, I can actually see, I can actually appreciate how, uh, how beautiful a place like this is. And of course there's that undeniable connection, you know, a cultural connection. Because I mentioned earlier, this is where the Portuguese people came from. The originally mountain people before they hit the seas. <laughs> we got to do the funky part. <clears throat> oh, this is nice little pants and jacket. Motorcycle pants are great though for this sort of thing. Now, I don't know if the following is wise. The sun's going down. The weather changes fast up here once that happens. I got about 45 minutes of daylight, I reckon. Take that track downhill. Should be fun. So is this grass. Ooh, that's a hard stump. Slide, slide. <laughs> really pulling down. I just gotta take it slow down because that front wheel almost looks like a road tire. Also the kind of place where a uh, little bit of a bash plate would be handy, wouldn't it? Whoa, slide, slide, slide. How do you like this for a first? Uh, Hill climb session atlas. You better make it down because uh, you won't be going up anymore. Man, I don't even know why I have the engine running. <laughs> that's why I have him. Ooh, that's why I need a bash plate. Hey, that Heidi I ordered today would have been nice. <laughs> Let's look back on the rock. There she is. Some people going like, yeah, I just fucking send it, mate. It's not my bike. Oh, a little respite. Oh, we already made it halfway down, I reckon. Hey, at least I'm not completely loaded for once, eh? I'm gonna bounce here. I already know it. Oh, there we 
we go, Miles. Yeah, boy. I don't want to pick up speed. <laughs> Just look at where you'll end up, eh? There we go. 21 inch wheel. You are the bomb. See, folks? I'm sweating now. So I'm finally getting my motorbike, my motorbike, motorcycle exercise that I usually get. Yeah, let's do it during sunset, mate. good just don't want to trap my uh, leg on the left on anything you know like a rock in the grass hey you see sliding in there You still all right, mate? I can tell you though, Atlas loves it. I know Bob's all right with this. He knows I'm having fun, Atlas having fun, you guys are having fun. Can we leave it? Normally I do this kind of stuff loaded. Now it's not that nice over there. Switch around, plane switch. We're almost there, fam. That's the worst of it. Whew. How do you like them apples? Here we are. From up there, that's very nice. Let's see where this goes. Because all I don't know. Oh, some fresh wind. Beleza. I think I need to go left. See the burnt trees here? That's why we don't have any more trees on the ridges, like I said. Imagine all of this full of trees. Nuh uh. Not with these forest fires, man. Old uh, ruin, but it's still a brick one. Brick house. It's not too old. Not too hard on the grass. Or your rear end will pass. Eee. Gigi, my people, Frag the Pena, and a little bit, Lusitani, the Proto-Portuguese people history, and here we have a real ruin. In the wild land of my original people. And now uh, this wonderful sight here, as we're halfway into dusk from this mountainous countryside, I bid you farewell. But not for long. I'm pretty damn sure some of you out there were like, oh, Pedro, that was so good. It's been so long. Makes me now regret that I bought a 50-50 tire. Now I want a 30-70 like I have, the Shinko. But it won't be like that all the time. Anyway, woo -woo. pay attention to the road, Pedro. Y'all have a good one out there. Ciao.